Today, I would like to summarize the main action step from yesterday's presentation, which was very long. And, oh good, I just passed by a word that makes sense here. Easy. So what I'm going to present, I think, hey, um, is, I don't want to call it like a shortcut. I just want to kind of call it like the easy way or the more fun way, but there are things that affect or could affect your willingness to take that route. And that's okay. It's not the right one. There is no right one. And this is just kind of like what I found for me, what I think I'm like bringing in from above and what has worked with clients, which means that maybe it works for you. Maybe it doesn't, but maybe if anything, you kind of get the inspo, hashtag inspo to kind of like, you know, experiment on your own. So here's kind of like the summary. Everyone can pretty much agree in the self-development space and um, some other ones that thoughts lead experience. Hi. And so it makes sense, right, that before we try to train ourselves to do anything, maybe we start with just being able to lead that experience, lead thought. And what I found in simplifying that is almost like an acknowledgement that the thoughts are definitely leading experience, but there is a thinking system behind the thoughts that are generating this pool. And so you could go in there and like clean up this pool of thoughts or you can turn off the thought system. And I've been in this world for a minute, like this, the, the self-development, behavior change, leadership, healing, you name it, space. And it took me a while to allow for this to be that simple. For me, the path was overcoming what work meant to me and effort and contribution and, and all these different ideas. So overcoming all of those provided different like tools and hacks and stuff at a more manual level. And then as soon as I get cool with not having to prove that I'm anything or anybody, like this easy stuff came online. And that's, that's kind of like the theme here. It's like, can you let this shit be easy? Can you let it be easy? So I talked about thoughts. And these are the things that would make you feel bad. And then we've got the thinking system. Thoughts can be so common. Like, so we could be so familiar with these that we don't even hear them and or consider that there could be a different context, content to them. Or even like, it's like you might think that you have thoughts about your body and you're like, okay, within thoughts about my body, here are a range of options that I could choose on like feeling bad to feeling good. So I have these different thoughts about my body. When there's also an option where you don't have any thoughts about your body. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like we can have this experience where we see that there is change of the quality of thought on the topic, but you don't even have to have that topic open, you know? And that's similar to what I'm talking about with the thinking system and the thoughts. So this became very prevalent for me or to me relative to thoughts around safety, which can be provoked through traumatic experiences. And the thoughts aren't like, I want to be safe. The thoughts are like basically how to cloud your activities so you don't go forward and make yourself unsafe what I'm if you have not examined the nature of thought definitely recommend asking some questions like what is this what does it help what does it do what doesn't it do how accurate is it that can help surrendering this practice become easier but if you haven't done that you can like lean on my understanding until you practice or you know or wait whatever but basically what we're doing here is kind of collapsing the thoughts. So let's say that 
and this is where like I I had a hard time finding it myself. It wasn't until I saw it in a friend. Um, if so, it's like thoughts like how I need to get, I need to be better at this. I need to change this. This is wrong. Or like it's like thoughts of like how to explain how it came to be, or how or what you could possibly do to change it. It's like this. You can't really tell, like, they're so convincing when you're in them that you think that they're real, but from different states, they really, you can be like, I can't believe I was really worried about that. But when you're in that lower state, it seems like real. And so I guess the way that you could tell if you're in that space or not is how like your breathing you could check to see what you're paying attention to outside like if if you're just kind of like broad stroking movements and not really honed in on details that might be a cue or a clue that your focus is inward it's just like excessive it's just like excessive noise and so what I'm suggesting is that instead of talking yourself through the obsessive noise, which might be about how to let go of trauma, it might be how to become more peaceful with this. Like they can be so tricky, but they're still like, it, it's still that ah, thinking. So you recognize that that activity is just fear it's like you're not allowing yourself to go forward for reasons that are probably in the thought system generating these thoughts and so rather than looking for the next step and taking it you're like stuck in this place and so you honor that for some reason or something that you're scared and you just sort of like breathe try to bring your try to bring your mind to like your diaphragm and notice if you can like try to relax those muscles and then realize that this isn't the problem <laughs> it's like something else and and it's not even the problem it's just like it's not real or helpful there is no amount of thinking that you can do backwards looking that is actually at, like will come to an accurate conclusion because as you change perspectives what is um, marked as good or bad changes like even if as time expands so if you have this event here and it sucks a lot you're like that sucked but then if you stretch the timeline and it includes the growth from afterwards you could be like well overall it was a pretty good experience you know and so it changes the meaning and that's just from one seat of perspective like just one seat meaning like just from that one and it's like the way you can I'm just saying like it's impossible it is like it is such a waste of time but somehow it seems like this great idea and we get all caught up in understanding can we understand the pattern why did that happen how can I stop that from before how will I explain it? Blah, blah, blah. if you can that's kind of what I was saying like close that box like recognize that that's not going to get you anywhere the where you want to go like it's forward it's here and forward and if the destination isn't clear, that can make it harder to kind of allow for that. But if you just keep refocusing that direction and close the box, so it's like, you don't have to interact with this. It's kind of like, if you've ever, if you've ever in interacted, I'd say like, let's say someone who isn't able to, they're not self-aware in a way that uh, I don't want to use the word crazy, but it's like you, they're unreasonable. They can't hear you for some reason. And so it's just like, there's this gross disconnect around realities and, and they're just not able to take in that information. There is no amount of logic that I'll ever get through like to that, to them. Like you cannot explain. You just gotta like close, like end scene like you cannot if you try to spend breath on that like it'll only make it worse and so you just gotta like close it and let it just let that be okay like that understanding is not mutual that's where the problem came from in the beginning that same thing inside where it's like when you start 
to talk about all these things like can't do shit about or like or, or you're just un figuring I have to say like trying to understand and figure out and like if you're thinking excessively about like other people's motives and where they are and what they're doing and what they're thinking like that's all like hey you're not here you're somewhere else and here is where it's at and so you have it's just sort of being like oh shit like you're right I'm not it's like it's almost like you kind of like snap up and you're like whoa how did I get here and then you just kind of like don't explain, don't talk about it, don't phone, just like put it down and walk away. Not to get away from the pertinence of your teaching, but I'm taking your shirt. <laughs> yeah, this is my most popular shirt. <laughs> it's my mom's. She got it for, I think, $2 and either 50 cents or $2 and 50 cents at South of the Border in like 1980. <laughs> And she saved it for special occasions. That's why it's in such great condition. And when she gifted it to me, <laughs> I mean, I felt really special. <laughs> it has the print on the back as well. <laughs> um, all right. I was talking. Okay, yeah. So the thoughts, it's like, it's like, so it's so trippy because it never at least for me it never occurs like what I'm thinking is irrational it's like it when it's relative to like safety because I've I've seen and I've seen some shit <laughs> and my physical body and like my presence in my body was like not safe in certain circumstances and so my desire to be safe is very high and my mind is like I'll help you do that but what I'm trying to like assert is that that strong desire to do that is coming from a flawed place and isn't real it's like if somebody looked in the cabinet and they were like oh there's no rice in here let's go we need rice we need rice we need rice but actually it was like in the other cabinet. And so it's like, yo, you got it. So like, you can calm down, like, don't freak out. And it's like that when we're, when we've been affected in a way that we don't feel physically or psychologically safe. It's just like this, how do I, how, 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 how what can I control? What can I control? What can I control? But it never like the thoughts really pay attention to them because there'll be some that you know have absolutely no bearing or grounding and yet it seems so real and so it's just like can you notice that you're in that space and rather than try to explain to you anything know that it's that thinking system it's just you're looking in the wrong cabinet and so it's just like you gotta back up and go to the other one what's fucking nuts is that what we're trying to figure out in this place it's generally how to feel good about ourselves, how to feel good in our bodies, how to feel good about our lives, and basically all of those, what do they allow for? The experience of joy and natural expression. And so really all we're looking for ultimately is the experience of joy, which luckily we are. And so that thing that you're trying to figure out to get here is right here right now. And it's a state and it's mind-blowing if you haven't had the experience yet with the awareness to be in the mind or in joy but when you are operating in joy there's no space between you and things you're not thinking like how do i what would be my strategy here you're just kind of like relaxed and moving it's the same as being like an athlete in the middle of like a really like uh, in flow it's like you don't you're just doing it like you're just doing it and then when you're in your mind, it's a completely different experience. Oh, how are they going to take what I'm saying? What am I going to do next? How isn't that like that? Where is this? It's just like completely different. And so what I had been trying to do was optimize the low end. That doesn't make sense. I mean, it's helpful, but it's not necessary because it's still in the mind. And so you'll have different qualities of thoughts, but it's still not the experience of being in joy. And so it's just like retraining where your focus goes through desire and intention. 
like I want to feel good 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 in that place you can do anything you could do let's I'll be fair maybe not anything but you can do a fuck ton more than whenever you're in fear you know what I'm saying so just something that's been very present for myself recently as things um kicked up for me to let go and for friends and clients so I don't know if it's the season for like tons of activity that seems really convincing but that's distracting you away from what you ultimately want because it's like when you're in here what you're trying to do is make your life better but like that's not going to do it. It's going to be like what you touch right now and how you touch it. And so if I'm touching things and hope and love with my full attention, I'm going to do a much better job making my future better than if I'm trying to figure out how he did, she did, why I didn't, why it was, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, okay, let's be real. Let's be real. It's right here. But we're going to be right here. Oh, but, but we're right here. And I've been practicing this probably for four months with increasing clarity because the c concepts were still kind of fuzzy. Like it's just kind of being able to feel those strong distinctions. And I'll tell you like, it's pretty good. When, it's pretty good. When you're in fear or the mind, everything, if like to me, maybe because I'm accustomed to certain, uh, I've felt different kinds of joy and freedom. When you're in the mind, everything feels like it's so hard. It's so hard. Oh my God, it's so hard. And everything's like heavy. So it just makes sense to me to first get in that other place where things are leveraged because you'd be doing the same stuff but you'd just be doing it in a way that was like somewhat enjoyable you know and why you would be doing anything would be to come to a place where you felt like joyful so kind of like but how about now <laughs> do you want to go there now and the answer might be no there might be some kind of connection that you get from being in problem where you can like connect with other people and say like oh I feel you I got this shit going on I can't get this shit to stop and that might be a great that might you might perceive that connection as a source of love it comes from inside um, but nevertheless could be afraid to kind of let that go or let, let that practice go but if you practice like you guys can connect on other stuff like vacations you know um the other part would be another concern might be again like i said worth and intelligence and effort or barriers for me to overcome and allowing for it to be that simple and easy because i had like low level fear that if everybody could do this like then what will I teach them and what will be my money? Like, how will I make money? Like, cause this is my livelihood, you know? So it's like, if, if everybody can do it, so it's like, oh, it has to be hard so that like I can learn and then I can teach other people. And it's like, no, 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 it can all be easy. It can be easy. It can be easy. And like in that there's like this surrender and trust and like, I don't know what's next, but I'm going to tell the truth. It's easy. It can be easy. And the, and um, for, I guess, the intelligence part or like even just sort of any kind of self-reinforcing reflections on the work, I noticed that they were still distractions. It was kind of like, um, I don't say narcissist, but sort of, it's sort of like being... It's like, I don't have to step forward and expose myself in some type of failure or an event that might be uncomfortable if I stay busy, sorry, call, talking to myself about myself, you know? So because I wasn't clear or comfortable on what the next step was and was blocked by fear from like legitimate things, it stayed in that area. Cause it's like, 
if you only have so much attention, you want to put your attention on stuff that gives you a return on investment. Becoming aware of how you're investing your attention will help you understand, are you trying to, like, what are you really trying to do? And unless, like, your 10 focus fingers aren't on in, like, this moment, or, like, let's say, like, 80% of them, then it's, it's a good question to be, like, I wonder why not? Why aren't I comfortable to be here? Why aren't I comfortable to go forward? And you don't even have to know the why as far as i can tell you can just keep steering forward i want to focus forward i want to feel safe to focus forward i feel more safe than before to focus forward it's getting safer and safer to focus forward i'm getting more and more comfortable and you just kind of bring your focus fingers the way you want to go well, let's see by the I don't know. I guess this was. I don't know. Maybe she was just want to interrupt my flow. I try to be really nice to her in case robots do take over. <laughs> Kimmy bitch. <laughs> presentation for today i'm gonna put it in a format that's more digestible on patreon.com slash habit book and if you have any questions or we can fit this to where you are like just holler i love this stuff obviously okay everyone have a wonderful day take care bye bye